Hello everyone. So the premiere of Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1 is tonight. Get excited! So I decided to do a Twilight Breaking Dawn look and as you can see the dawn all right here on my forehead it's broken. Let's get started! Premiere time. This is Ben Nye and it's a really light color. Let's just go on base your face do 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 la la po be sure to cover your eyelids so that stuff stays on and whatnot and now we're going to set that with a little translucent powder so that it doesn't get all jank and whatnot so i think bella gets all vampire-y here and if not you're going to be pale because she lives in the north and the sun doesn't shine that much there so you know fair complected people just happen so basically we're being breaking dawn literally we're just gonna start gonna get your brush wet and put it in the powder because this makes it like a cream powder and it'll be awesome I'm dipping it in my yellow I'm gonna try and show you Ooh, yellow dip dip Awesome. We're going to start with this yellow. And we're just going to start bringing it here and just blend the yellow. Ah, fun, 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 fun. Yeah, if you want to keep going with this yellow, you can do the uh, ever fashionable jaundice look. That's always fun. Now we're going to move on to the orange. Guess what? We're drawing Dawn. Do you get it? It's hilarious. Just want to blend that so it looks sexy and whatnot. So it's it's kind of like doing a sunset. If you ever made a sunset in art class, it's kind of like that. But we're in the morn, not nighttime. So all right, now I'm going for the pink. Get that pink. And we're gonna make kind of more lines and just kind of sweeping it. And this is where it's really oh look at that look how well that shows up. Oh so exciting. Because these are kind of like clouds, you know, the light reflects. Like that guy in the 70s would say, that painter guy, make some happy little clouds over here. So it also pass for a nice, you know, bird look. Now we're going, we're going with this little darker color. This little blue up here, it's cute. This is expert wear eyeshadow. It's kind of old and the other colors have broken out, but that's fine because I only need this blue. Okay, this doobly doo right there. We're going to start out here and we're just going to kind of blend from the hairline. To make it look a little more dawn and a little less sunset, we're going to go back in with this dark purple. We're going to bring a lot of that purple in. Blendy blend, blend, blend. Right? Right? <gasps> blend, 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 blend. Back to my sponge and make this just a little bit darker here with some black from my Ben Nye kit. Yo, there's Dawn. Looks like Mr. Darcy's gonna be walking through your forehead at any moment. That was a Pride and Prejudice reference. Hmm. The taste of product placement. Alright, so. I'm gonna shut this window because it's bothering me. Alright. And the next step is to make it look broken. We're going to do that with some glass. We're going to take this awesome little angle brush and some Ben Nye White. Ben Nye the science guy. Ben, Ben. That's wrong. That's fine. And we're going to draw glass on our face. And it's going to be awesome. We're just making very thin lines. This is like broken glass. It's breaking dawn. Har, har, har. There we go. Look, it's like a mosaic of your face. So that was the white. Now you're going to take a different brush. And then we're going to go underneath the white. And occasionally you can make, you know, this part a little, little more jagged and a little darker. And, you know, whatever your heart desires. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, so there's your 
your broken glass. And now, we're going to take it off. Our makeup. Not all of it, though. I'm just going to remove everywhere that's not in my lines. And then go back with your Q-tip and clean that up nicely. All right, my pasty cream color. Patching up anywhere that maybe got funky. And now I'm using this brush to get the finer places that maybe were missed. <laughs> I'm liking this. Okay. All right, so that's all set with powder, right? Pasty, 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 pasty. Okay, now I have this, and we're going to go on to cheeks. So this is kind of a deeper red-ish color. I don't know what brand this is because I just found it. It's my roommate's. Your, your darker red. You're going to apply that right here. Moving on to the eyebrows. Eyebrow brush. Go and brush them upwards. I'm going to use this black. Small strokes. Do, 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 do. There we go. I filled in my eyebrows. Looking all vampire -y. Ooh, they're so dark. <laughs> We're going to do a bit of a smoky eye. Starting with this lightest color. Put that along the brow. Brow, brow, brow. Okay, now we're going to the second color. It's the second darkest color. It's a bit darker. And that's going on the eyelid. Eyelid! Woo! Okay, so now I'm going with the gray. I'm going to put that in the crease. Right, so there we go. And then I'm going to take this black and just put it in the corner of my eye. And just kind of give myself some eyeliner. Can wing out a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna take it all the way underneath it. La la la. Alright, so now I'm gonna take this red and put it right along the black for that hey, I'm dead look. I'm gonna wing that red out underneath that black. Now for the mascara. I guess I'm supposed to get up really close to my camera to show this, right? Is that how it works? Mm. So we're going to get some awesome blood red lips going on. Help your lipstick stay on better. You can prep it with some foundation and it'll help it stay and keep from bleeding. However, I'm not going to, but you can do that. All right, lip liner. This defines your lips and uh, keeps it from bleeding out. Okay, bleeding out, I don't know if that was the right word, but it keeps them from bleeding and it, it just helps. Now I'm going to go in with L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Lip Color. When you're sitting in twilight, imagining that you're making out with Edward, you don't want to have to worry about whether or not your lips are flaky and all gross. Infallible. <laughs> going back to my white pencil. I'm putting a little right here to make my lips look like they're bigger. Because if you have the biggest lips in the theater, Edward or Jacob will definitely come out of the screen. Because they'll be so attracted to your big old lips. Do 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 That was a random dance break. Now we're going to go back in with our black. Just on the lips, it makes it a little more, uh, Vampire-y and awesome. Gives more definition, too. We're going to use the other side, which is this cool little glass thing, and just apply that. Hmm. It's that just bitten look. If you want some hair, just take your hair down. One more thing. Can't forget the glitter. You can put it over the glass of your face. You know, because real vampires glitter in the sun. And there you have it. It's your broken glass, broken dawn, breaking dawn look. Enjoy the premiere and comment how the movie was down below. Also, subscribe. Up above, I think, is the button. And please leave a comment. Let me know if this worked out for you, if you want to see anything else, um, if you have any recommendations, or just tell me how the movie was. All right. Thanks, y'all. Bye.